Hello guys, today I'll be talking about uh, OCO. First of all, what is OCO? How does OCO work? Importance of OCO and examples on OCO. What is OCO? Um, OCO means one cancel the other. It means that uh, you are able to create two others at the same time, but only one of them will be executed. Okay, um, how does OCO work? OCO works in the sense that you're combining your limits and your stop limits order at the same time. But only one of those are all that will be executed, while the other one will be cancelled. You know, uh, first of all, if you are, if you buy a coin, you can just sell a coin using your limits, your market, or your stop limit. But now with OCO now, you can combine your limits and your stop limit order at the same time. So you're having a set price and a stop loss order at the same time. Uh important of OCO. You know, a smart trader use OCO to limit their losses. Now let's say for example, maybe um, you're always busy, uh, let's say you're going to work or maybe you're going to bed at night. So you can place your order using uh, OCO. With that, now you have to order, which is your sell order and your stop, stop loss order. So if, if the price reaches your, your sell price to sell off, why to cancel your stop loss order? Likewise, too, if the price reaches your uh, stop loss order, it will sell a loss, why it will cancel your um, sell price order. So basically, anyone that eats first will sell off. Why the other one will be cancelled? So that's a uh, that's the importance of uh, OCO. Now uh, examples on OCO. So let's take example now with a signal. Now this is a signal. Buy SLM on Binance. Buy price. We buy. Okay, we buy using our market price. Then the same price. You can see the same price here. Eight twenty nine hundred one one eight satoshi and so on. Then our stop loss on this uh, trade is six. Eight eight. Now let's go back to Binance and place this order. Come, come here now and type SLM BTC. Okay, this is it. So guys, um, guys, uh, you can buy using your limits, market stop limits, and OCO. Um, I'll be doing a video on uh, how to buy using OCO. That'll be the next video after this. Now let's buy the signal. Okay, we are buying now using our market order for this example. Okay, I'm buying now, guys. So I've placed my buy order. It's not going to be the coin has been bought. And let's go over to the signal and see. Okay, our surprise one is uh, 820. So for this example, I'll be using surprise one 820, and our stop loss is. Uh, uh, 688. So, guys, now let's place our sell order using OCO. You say you come over here and go to this is OCO now. You can see our, our price, then our stop limit. So, the price now uh, we are selling that. Let me put the price at zero points. So, Let me check again, guys. Okay, um, 820. So we are selling at 820. 8 to 0. Now, our stop loss on this, uh, this now is a 6 8 8. So we put our stop loss. Now, let's set our trigger price. And guys, uh, in case you don't uh, understand trigger price, how it works. Trigger price, what is it that um, it will allow Binance okay, to place uh, this uh, signal for us. Now, let's say this signal is coming down, for example. Now, once it gets to our, our trigger price, uh, a sale order of this uh, our, our limit uh, will not be placed on Binance to set this coin off. So the coin will set in between these two prices, but it won't exceed this uh, 688. So that is the essence of our trigger price. Let's start trigger price. For this now, uh, trigger price, uh, I'll go with um, and what's setting a trigger price? Uh, it should just be a little higher than a stop loss given on the signal. So for this now, uh, I'll go with um, let's say six ninety. I'll go with these guys as our trigger price. Now let's put our hundred percent and say. Now our OCO order has in place. Now, guys, you can see this now. 
But I'll open it down now. You can see that we have two order here, which is the first price, which is our sell price of 820 and our stop loss of 86. Guys, you can see that the way OC works. So if I should cancel one of these down, the other one will be cancelled. I should cancel one and the other one will be cancelled. So that's how OC works. And if the um if this price now touches our sell price, it will sell off why to cancel our stop loss. Likewise, so if I should come down to and use our stop loss price, you sell at loss, why to cancel our sell order. So guys, that's this. So that's how um OC works. Uh I hope you guys have uh, enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, so let me know. So you guys can like, subscribe. Uh, then I will doing a video too on OCO on how to buy. So guys, that's it. Thank you.